Welcome to Istanbul. That's the Bosporus Bridge linking Asia and Europe, a symbol of Istanbul as a historic crossroads. This city, long a meeting point for cultures and commerce, is evolving in the digital era into a global telecommunications hub. It's gonna be huge! With Turkey's push for 5G, Istanbul is becoming a tech focal point, attracting global investors and innovators. 5G here is reshaping industries and facilitating automation, AI and IoT. But now a yet more significant story is unfolding. The global balance of power is shifting from east and west to north and south. Growth opportunities are emerging in the global south, particularly in the 49 countries of sub-Saharan Africa, where many governments are preparing to deploy next generation technologies. And over the next two decades, this leapfrogging effect will integrate those regions into the global digital economy, enabling new infrastructures and economic developments at unprecedented speed. International tech giants like Huawei, Nokia and Ericsson are leading this communications revolution in the global south. These companies are driving the push for 5G in emerging markets, setting the stage for economic transformation. But one notable major player is absent, the United States. With no American vendors participating, the US appears to have lost interest in shaping the future of global connectivity, an essential area where influence is defined by who connects the disconnected. I don't get it. What exactly don't you get? This absence is going to have long-term ramifications. Authoritarian regimes, such as Turkey's, and unitary governments, like China's, are capitalizing on this moment advancing faster the democratic nations in enabling digital ecosystems. Democracies in the US and Europe might not want to acknowledge this reality, but that doesn't make it any less true. So as I stand here near the Bosporus Bridge, it's clear that Istanbul is more than just a historic link. It's a gateway to a future where the global south rises in digital innovation, while democracies may find themselves sidelined in a new global order.